So this is a tutorial on how to set up the command dials for single-handed operation on the Fujifilm X100V. So why operate the camera with one hand? Well, very often we may find ourselves in situations where our other hand is compromised or simply we just prefer having all controls within finger's reach. Now, while there is a tactile and fun aspect to operating the X100V using the aperture ring, exposure compensation dial, and the dual function ISO and shutter speed dial, in real world use, especially for faster paced street work, these dials are a bit of a novelty and can slow you down considerably if you only have one hand to work with. So on the X100V, there are two command dials a front and a rear. These dials can be programmed to command the variables we most often use to expose an image. I'm talking aperture, ISO, shutter speed, and exposure compensation. So let's jump into the menu screen and take a look at how to do that. So in the menus, let's locate the wrench icon and go to button dial setting. Then locate the command dial settings and this is where you can map variables to the dials. So as you can see, you have three variables you can map to the front command dial and one to the rear. You can also see that if you map three different variables to the front command dial, you can cycle through each variable by pressing down on the front command dial as indicated by this little symbol. You can also see the order in which it cycles through so when it reaches the last variable, it will jump back to the first. Let's start with the first option. The front dial must be programmed to at least control the aperture or the shutter speed. I personally would set this to be aperture simply because it is easier to remember because the aperture ring is at the front of the camera. Now the next two options for the front command dial, you have more options. In addition to aperture and shutter speed, you can set it for exposure compensation, ISO, or none. I've set exposure compensation and ISO for the two other variables mapped to the front command dial, and I will show you how it all works in just a bit. By the way, it goes without saying that assigning two or three of the same function to the front command dial is pretty pointless. If you only need one or two functions, I would set the last one to none. Now the rear command dial I have set as shutter speed because aside from aperture, shutter speed is the other more commonly adjusted variable when it comes to exposure. If you choose none for the rear command dial, it will disable the scrolling feature on the dial. However, in single AF mode or manual mode, you can still press down on the rear command dial to zoom in to your focus box. Okay, so now that we have our variables mapped to our respective command dials, let's see how we can use them. Let's start with the rear command dial. Now, since I have it set to control shutter speed, we need to be able to allow the command dial to take over the function of the shutter speed dial. This is because when there is a defined value for shutter speed, it will override the command dial, making it unusable. To give full control of shutter speed over to the command dial, we must set our physical shutter speed dial value to T. Now, as you can see, as I rotate the rear command dial to the right, the shutter speed increases and to the left decreases. Now for the front command dial and how we go about allowing it to control the variables aperture, exposure, compensation, and ISO. To override the aperture, turn the physical aperture ring to A. For ISO, pull up the outer ring of the shutter speed dial and turn so the marker is set to C in the small window. And for the exposure compensation, align the letter C to the marker. Now as I rotate the dial, you can see the aperture value changing. Right to increase the value, left to decrease. 
So if I want to control exposure compensation, I would press down on the front command dial and you can see a pop-up on the screen showing you briefly which variable you are on. Do note that the exposure compensation only works in a certain configuration as I will explain later. Press down on the dial again to switch over to ISO. I would like to note that at any time you can set the shutter speed and or ISO to A on the physical dial. This will override the function of the command dial and your camera's auto ISO feature will be activated. Then you will only be left with the front command dial controlling the aperture and exposure compensation. Now here are a few notes I must include purely for troubleshooting in case any of you come across these issues. The first one is of course to do with the exposure compensation. Exposure compensation will only work when either ISO and or shutter speed is set to auto because exposure compensation relies on the exposure being correct first in order to you know, compensate. This also applies if you are using the physical dials. If you want to have the full spectrum of shutter speeds, make sure to set the shutter type to mechanical plus electronic in the settings menu, otherwise your shutter speed will cap out at one four thousandth of a second on mechanical shutter. If you set the shutter speed on the physical dial, you are still able to control shutter speed on the command dial, but it will only increase or decrease within a limited range from the set shutter speed. So that's all for now, thank you for watching guys and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful make sure to leave a like and comment in this comment section below whether you'd like to see more tutorials on the X100V and what I should talk about next and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and share it on your social media and tell your friends who have an X100V if they're just starting out, I, I think this is a great resource for them to be watching. So thanks again guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.